Hey dear aviators, welcome back to another video where we reveal the magic of aviation with basic logic. Now, today's question is, why don't aircraft collide up in the air? Well, there are no roads or driving lanes like vehicles on ground have. So, what magic do pilots know? Well, the magic is called semicircular rules. Now, what is that? It's a very simple rule that pilots follow and different reasons and countries have different variations of this rule, but they all work under the same principle that I'm going to share with you guys today. As we know, any map has four directions to begin with. North on top, east to the right, west to the left, and south towards the bottom. I hope this works. <laughs> okay, so even pilots follow these directions to fly. And for example, let's say there is a rule which says aircrafts flying in the easterly direction have to fly odd altitudes like 7,000 feet, 9,000 feet, 11,000 feet. And aircrafts flying in the westerly direction have to fly even heights like 6,000 feet, 8,000 feet, 10,000 feet, and so on. And this rule is called semicircular rule. Now, according to this rule, any aircraft flying towards each other would always have a thousand feet difference, like in this example. To put it at a better perspective, let's say two aircrafts are flying towards each other. And if they are to follow this rule, the aircraft flying towards the east has to fly odd height, say 7,000 feet. An aircraft flying towards the west has to fly even height, say 8,000 feet. Now, even though from ground, they could seem like they are closing towards each other, but actually they have a thousand feet vertical difference between them. Now that's magic, is it? Basic logic. Well, putting this rule aside for a moment, we should not forget that pilots are human as well, and humans make mistakes. Although this is a very simple rule, but a pilot could be confused about, like myself, could be confused about east or west or even or odd and maybe flying at wrong altitude. Also, there are few exceptions where pilots are allowed to fly in same altitude in every direction. Well, in that case, if a pilot notices that he or she is closing towards another aircraft, there is another rule which says both aircraft should turn right. Now what this does, it, it gives them a horizontal separation and they can cross paths easily without leading to any incident, accident or you know what it is. Well, now the problem seems sorted, isn't it? Pretty much yes, but something that I like about this aviation sector is the safety culture in aviation is so good that there are a set of systems that are required to be on board an aircraft carrying more lives which gives warnings, awareness and also avoids collision with other aircrafts by visual warning, oral warning, also commands. Like a good example of that is this video from Left Seat Dream. Have a look. Now, Traffic, 11 o'clock, same altitude, zero miles. Well, there are many more such systems that help avoiding collisions between aircrafts. A basic example of which is TCAS, traffic avoidance. Humans make mistakes. TCAS stands for Traffic Collision Avoidance System. But that could be a topic for another video. Till then, keep showing your love and let's grow together if you have any queries or comments feedbacks whatever it's very much welcome in the comment section below i would like to thank the left seat dream for letting us use his amazing video and my instructor and dear friend matthew ranzel for making this happen link to their instagrams in the description and please show them some love till then Oh, that's the landing check. Lovely. Just touch the go, but just keep.